Things were really getting ugly until that fateful day when the colonists dressed as Indians descended upon the ships and tossed the tea into the sea as a cry rose from their lips. You can no longer overtax us. We have no more to give. So take your laws and leave our land. We choose to govern where we live. Things had gotten bad before, but this time was a first that saw America at its best when things were at their worst. And it started a tradition, a way of life, so to say, that has affected all Americans from then until today. Every time we get complacent and start bickering among ourselves, someone comes and tries to break us to cast our paradise into hell. But every time they do it, they find out like the rest, it's when things are at their worst that America is at its best. Now this latest interruption that is known as 9-11 as they toppled the Twin Towers and sent thousands into heaven is just one more reminder to those beyond our shore that we can be your greatest friend or you can be no more. So take this as a warning, those who would put us to the test. If you want to try to break us, you will find Americans and America at its best. Ladies and gentlemen, the great thing about America is we choose our leaders. Our leaders, as we all know, based on our Constitution, are supposed to listen to us and let us help them make their decisions. We have a couple in the audience today, or at the podiums today, who said, that's how we do it. Scott Fleshman, our good friend, is going to moderate and introduce our two uh, local Lake County board members to us, and then we're going to have a little debate-style uh, fun. So, Scott, I'll turn it over to you. Ah, Mario. I think you're on the same page.